What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to episode four of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we uh, got a tour of uh, Treasure Town by uh, by the uh, lovely but idiotic Bidoof. Who apparently loves to say yup yup all the time. Um, and we also learned that uh, that um, Azrael got taken by Drowsy, which we found out is a is a bad mind. So we are now here at Mount Bristle to uh, to find them both and take down Drowsy. Hopefully we can get through it in this game. I don't know how far up we got to I don't know how far up we got to go, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. So, let's see Lear. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, awesome a tile. Love it. Money. All right. Um, what's this? Blue gummy. Uh oh No, Spinarak, I don't want to fight you. Actually. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I'm poisoned. Oh! Uh, do I have anything for poison? Build status problems. Eat. Awesome. All right. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I haven't been so for so as we're go as we're walking through Mount Bristle here, I just want to apologize for the for the irregular content the last couple of weeks, um, especially just especially this past week. Um, it's just been very very extremely humid I wasn't actually able to uh, bring myself to okay so that's where the stairs are uh, we're gonna continue on we're going to explore a little bit um, yeah it's been it was the last week was extremely and I mean like extremely um, uh, humid and the hum and the way that we get our hu the way we get our humidity here, it just saps everything from you. <laughs> and and anyway, yeah, so I just haven't been able to record because I've been oh my god, I'm poisoned again. Are you serious? Thank you. I need. Uh, one of these poison. Here we go. Um. Yeah. Oh God, I forgot my speed. Uh. Okay. Because you were using indoor, you're at twenty-seven. Oh, my speed's back to normal. Good. All right, I'm just gonna straight up head for the stairs now. Right. So yeah, so I'm I apologize for the lack of content, but I'm hoping to get back to the swing of things now that um, now that the humidity is gone. Oh god. Oh, there we go. I paralyzed him. Really? Just this big room with nothing in it. No items, nothing. All right. Uh, what's up here? Oh my god. Oh, stick. That's not gonna lead anywhere. 
So what is over here? I should stop using Thundershot. Yeah, I probably should stop. Save some for um, save some for Drowsy. So anyway, so how have you guys been? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway. Starly. Interesting seeing a Starly. Actually, there's a tile right here that we can take. There you go. All back to normal. Alright, um, there's the stairs. Four floor! Let's do it! That, that's gonna lead nowhere. Over here will lead somewhere. Can you... die? Okay, Riolu. Steven had to... I don't know why it took Steven a while to get his act there. Max Elixir. Let's, let's go up. Mm. This sucks. Oh my god, I missed. Come on. Yeah, that's one. There we go. Escape orb, that's fine. And another Geo Pebble. Alright. Oh, another Geo Pebble, let's take that. None of us have any status ailments, so. Ooh, Big Apple. Definitely keep that for our. Speaking of bellies, we're at 56. Okay. Uh. You're normal flying. Let's take you out. I definitely would not be able to do anything here. Just regular attacks for now. Hey! Level up. There's the stairs. Actually, let's heal ourselves first. Oops. Well, I fucked myself up there. Alright. There we go. Now let's go to the stairs. Sixth floor! I want to say this place has seven. Alright, let's go here. Nothing. Alrighty. Where did you come from? Oh yeah, whatever happened to me, <laughs> me saving up Thundershocks? Oh no. Uh... Chop, I don't want anything to do with you. I just want to find the stairs and get the hell out. And then we run into these guys. Alright. Oh no. Steven, if you could do something, that would be greatly appreciated. Steven? Oh my god, he didn't do a damn... He didn't do a thing. Oh, it's because he doesn't have any more. <laughs> Alright, um... I was hoping that was going to increase my HP, but I guess not. Alright, let's head down. 
Oh no. I don't want to fight the Nidorino. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Please don't wake him up. I woke him up. Um, now poisoned. Uh, yeah, it's stopping me from healing. Oh my god, why am I having so much trouble against this neat arena? Oops. Uh, items... Oh. Races PP. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give that to Steven. I need health, though. Which, sadly, I don't have any. Ugh. Oh, joy. I honestly, truly believe we lost this now. Don't poison me again, please. Why is there gonna be so many poison types here? Oh my god, he's on my defense. <gasps> Okay, so I did lose. Alright. That's, uh... Crap. Alright. I need to buy... Healing items. Would you like to save? Not right now. Optimum Bristle. Alright. I was hoping I didn't have to do the thing again. Alright. Before we go... Okay. I was ho I was like, please let me do this. Hey, it's, it's Boink. Oh, yeah. One thing I want to see, though... Um... Alright, I wanted to see something, but alright. Uh, Kecleon Brothers! <laughs>
sky blue bow. Oh jeez, I'm gonna give that to me. Hold the phone. And I'll give the z give the zinc band zinc band to Steven. All right. I didn't put any money in the in the dust call bank, did I? I did. Okay, take. I want to take all of it. Take all of that, and I'm buying healing items. All right. I'll buy another Orin. And you know what? I'll buy the two apples, too. So that Lord only knows I'm going to need it. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sell the other things I got, too. Oh, I don't want to buy. Uh, sell. Uh, sell my sticks. Might as, well, might as well. I have no use of sticks right now, I don't think. Put the rest of the money in Duskull. That sounded weird. Duskull always says hee hee, I just realized. Alright. Off to Mount Bristle. Oh boy. Can we find- oh my blessed jeez. We're starting off on a crappy note. Alright. Crappy way to start, but okay. Alright, well, I will take that heal seed though. I will definitely take it. Okay. Alright, this time, screw looking at the rest of the area. I just want to get to the top. Especially once we get up to the seventh floor where we start getting Nidorinos in the arenas. Yeah. I'm getting really lucky on these, which is scary now. Alright. Uh, down here. Starly. Oh god. Cherry berry kills paralysis. We never had paralysis yet, but I can I gotta give you an orm berry already, Steven. Come on. Oh no. Here. What? There we go. Speaking of the need, speaking of Nidos, why did you attack it, Steven? Steven, you fuck, you idiot. <sighs> Steven, why did you do that? Stun Seed, yes. Geo Pebble, sure. <gasps> yes. Fifth floor! Alright. Oh my god, this is a big room. I don't like it. Oh no. The problem with. Oh no, I was facing the wrong way! Eh! Okay, bye Doe Duo. Hey! I won a Thunder Wave. Awesome. Welcome in handy. 
Steven also grew level. Awesome. Now, to deal with you. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. Uh, that was way more painful. Oh, Orenberry. Oh, thank you. Alright. That led nowhere, so there's two ways. Oh, no. Mud sport. Why does it have to be mud sport? I don't know how long this, I don't know how long this mud sport's gonna last. We'll get the text notification, I guess. Oh, that was a waste of time. Oh my god, no! We're wasting time. Don't want to fight this Nidorino. I really don't. This this room. Has so many months in it now. Oh my god, there's the stairs. We're gone. No, 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 no. The stairs is right there! Let's go! Oh! That got stressful. Alright. Let's go. I don't care. I'm going as... I'm getting as far top as I could possibly get. Far top. I'm getting as far up this path as far as I can go. Alright, so we're gonna have to fight him now. Just don't have poison point. Why are you only attacking me? Oh, for f Christ's sake. So many Nidorinos! Mm. There's a poison. Please. What's that? Spurn? Spurn orb? Me. No! I didn't mean to give it to Steven. I meant to give that to me. Steven, you take care of this. Yeah. Oh! 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 Steven! You gotta do this, boy. You gotta do this, bro. Mud spore. Why? Can you just... Steve Ed! Use another thank you! I was gonna say, use another bite! Jeez, guy. These guys really love to go straight for the throat. Jeez. Where's the, st where's the stairs? There it is. Bye! 4-8. Okay. So we're doing better than last time. We got ourselves an Oran and a Geo. Ninth floor. Alright. Continuing on. The stairs is right here. Perfect. It's the top! Yes! Thank God. Oh, 
I don't remember the voice I gave Azrael. I don't think I did. Okay. Oh, it's a dead end! Excuse me, Mr. Drazzy. Where is my last item? Could you show me where the item is now? Sorry, kiddo. Your last item is not here, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, he's Russian. Huh? My big brother. My big brother is following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope. Your big brother's not coming. I'll let you in on a little secret. This was a trick. I deceived you. Huh? But let's not dwell on that. There's a little favor I need to ask. See that hole behind you? Okay, he's not Russian. <laughs> well, there's a rumor that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there. But as you can see, I am too big to squirm my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry. Just do as I say. Do that. And then I'll have you get out of there. But, but, but. Go on. Get going. Go in that hole. And don't forget to bring back the treasure. I want my big brother! Hey, hey. Stop that. Sheesh. I said that I'll take you home when you're done. If you keep being difficult, it will mean big trouble for you. <laughs> Help! Stop right there. Yeah, we won't let you. We won't let you do that, Drowsy. You bully. <laughs> of all the things that you said, it was bully. How, how did you find this place? We are Team Conquest, an exploration team. No criminal can escape us. An exploration team. You came to apprehend. Oh, are you trembling? Aha! I figured it out. You're on exploration team, but you're total rookies. <laughs> That's right. I am a wanted Pokemon with a bounty on my head. <laughs> but can you two do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We'll never lose to a we never lose to a bad guy like you. <laughs> I have been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in my day, but never a sorrier looking sponge than you two. This should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what you've got. And let's do this. Steven, um, Steven might have uh, a problem. Since all he has is counter... Oh, he's... He does have quick attack. Hold off on um... Oh, healed all. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah! I got the paralyze! Suck it, Drowsy. You're done. Uh, <laughs> just pop. Just flop. Everybody do the flop. We've came to rescue you. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. Great. What a relief. Your big brother is waiting. Let's go home. Okay. And another job well done. I am Magnazone, the primary officer in this region. Z z thanks to you, we've been able to arrest a, w a wanted outlaw. Z we owe you great thanks for your cooperation. We will send the reward to your guild. Thank you again. Now come with us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Captured again. I mean, I don't know what to give Azrael though, or Meryl. Meryl! Ah! <laughs> it just starts crying. Oh, poor Azrael. Meryl, it was so scary. You okay, Azrael? Are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy hasn't been harmed in any way. What a relief! Yay! I'm glad you kids are happy. You did all you did this for all of us, Steven and Chris. We won't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. Really, really thank you. Alright, I just gave him Steven's voice for a split second there. I didn't mean to do that. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. 
was awarded with an enlarged treasure bag. Yay! You can also carry. You can now come here carry more items. The special episode Bidoof's Wish has been unlocked. To play the special episode, select it from the episode list in the top menu. Would you like? If you would like to play the special episode, save your progress and return to the menu. Okay. I've gotten. I've gotten the bounty from Officer Magnazone from the Captured Outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. Three thousand! Whoa! Oh. What a rip. <laughs> what a rip this is. Man. I really only get 300. I'm seriously only keeping 10%. <laughs> I'm only keeping 10% of this. What? This is, this is really dumb. What? This is all we get after all that hard work. Well, of course. It's all part of the trading. And we expect just as much effort tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm beginning. I'm beginning to get second thoughts on this whole guild guild work thing. I'd be happy if our share was a little bit. <laughs> if our share of the reward was a little bigger. I mean, it's ten percent. It's that's absolute crap. <laughs> Come on. That's all right. We managed to rescue Azrael. Man, the money. We got nothing. How are you happy? Like sure we rescued some, sure we res rescued someone, but all we got was three hundred out of three thousand. <laughs> and it's all thanks to you, Chris, because you had that dream. We learned about Azrael's trouble in advance. It's true. I can't explain it, but the first shout I heard from Azrael, and that dream I had. And I'm not, I, I'm not, yeah, I wasn't, we just did that. Both of those events, they took place in the future. Was I, why was I able to see something like that? What was that dream about? Oh. <laughs> and mine did too. <laughs> we worked up a big appetite. We were, we were so focused on rescuing Azrael that I didn't notice at all. But <laughs> now I'm even hungrier. Come on, let's go get dinner. All right. I am still... I am still pissed that we only got 300 out of that 3,000. We should have at least gotten like a third, 33% out of that. That would have been that would have been a thousand dollars. That would have been amazing. But nope, nope. All we got was 10% and only got 300. That's so, like that is so dumb. Wow, that lightning's intense. It looks like it's really stormy tonight. Hold on. You know the night before we met, Chris? It was storming that night. I found you out cold on the beach that day after that stormy night. Well, do you remember anything about being uh, being out... I can't talk today. Do you remember anything about being out cold on the beach? Can you remember anything? I wonder. There was a storm, but how did I end up unconscious? Nope. Can't remember a thing. I guess it won't be that easy, but that's all right. Just try remembering a little at a time. We have to get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Oh boy. Stormy night. Oh, listen, Chris, are you still awake? I've been thinking it over since it happened. That strange dream you had. Maybe it had something to do with your personality. Or, had to, not personality. Maybe it has something to do with you personally. <sighs> it's just the feeling I get. I sure don't know any other Pikachu who dreams about the future. And I've never heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. That's why I think those two events are connected. I can't help feeling that way. The key to unlocking my memory... Was it in a, in that dream? But even if that were true, does it even relate to anything else? I have no way of knowing, 
what you were like as a human. But I think you must have been a good person. Oh, After all, it was your dream that helped us catch that bad Pokemon. Oh, that reminds me of what Chatot said. That the growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of whack. You know, time's getting messed up. We were just thinking this. Time is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why. But everyone believes that the Time Gears is somehow involved. Okay, drop a new bombshell on me, why don't you? Huh? Time Gears? They say Time Gears are hidden in secret places all around the world. Like, in a forest. Or at a lake in an underground cavern. I've, I've even heard that there's a hidden altar inside a volcano. At the center of such places is what's known as a Time Gear. Time Gears serve a very important function. Each one projects project, protects time and keeps time flowing properly in its region. So where's the one here then? Hey! But what happens if a region loses its time gear? I really don't know the answer to that question. Now my guess is that if a time gear is removed from a region, the flow of time in that region will probably stop too. That's why everyone makes sure to never disturb the time gears. Everyone has, lo has long been certain that some kind of disaster would strike, so everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't tamper with them. Even the most hardened criminal Pokemon know not to avoid messing with them. Uh, what voice should I give him? Because he's an integral character. Um, Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is. Hey, girl vile! <laughs> <laughs> I finally found it. A time gear. But... This is... But this is only the first of many. Yay, girl vile! <laughs> the next morning. I'm not doing... Loud Dread anymore. Or not, uh, I'm not doing him. I'm not doing him anymore. Alright. Would you like to save your adventure? We will save our adventure. And I'm also going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. In the next episode, we're going to uh, continue the continue the day and hopefully maybe get some more information on why Grovile is uh, stealing the time gears or something maybe I don't know but thank you guys so much for watching I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer and I will see you in the next video